Oh, dude, it's a giant. What the heck? Oh my goodness, he hammered. Is that the last minute fish right there, the tiebreaker? Oh my goodness, a giant. Whew, what a mondo. What's good, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Orange 22 Fishing. It truly does mean a lot to me and Maddie that you have tuned in to watch this video today. Uh, hopefully we're going to be able to make the most out of this opportunity we have right now. And that opportunity to detail it a little bit is the weather event we're having. We've got a cold front coming through. It's brought the temperature down to about 40 degrees. Uh, it could possibly be in the 30s later on this afternoon. And it brought with it cloudy, cloudy skies, not an inch of sunlight peeking through. And it also brought 20 to 30 mile an hour winds. Now, when I see that, most people would sit at home and not go fishing. But me and Maddie, we like to go fishing in bad weather, and that's exactly what we're about to do. Uh, with weather like this, it is a perfect opportunity to throw a lipless crankbait, one of my favorite baits personally. And the body of water we're going to is known for producing fish on lipless crankbaits. So give me a second, we're gonna hop in the car, brave the elements, and hopefully we can produce a monster today. got a chilly one today uh, it's a lot colder now than when I left the house I'll just say that but uh, we got the waders on Maddie's got his waders on it's extremely windy out here sorry for the wind noise in advance but that is the perfect time to come out for some lipless crankbait fishing and that's what we're gonna do today I'm gonna give a quick shout out to Thunder Dan from 302 fishing because I did get the idea for this video off of what he did here uh, a few weeks ago, a few episodes ago for him. So obviously whenever you kind of mimic what somebody else is doing, you want to give credit. So of course I'm going to do that for Dan. But uh, yeah, this is this is his pond, man. It's not, not like he owns it or anything, but uh, this is his stomping grounds out here. So we're going to test our luck out here with the liplesses today and see if we can't get some giants on. I know there is big fish in here. And uh, that's what we're here for today. So let's make our way down to the water. Water does appear to be pretty high. And I'm sure it's freezing cold. But uh, yeah, we're going to see what we can make happen today. What lipless you got on, Matty? Um, I have a Storm lipless crankbait on. Storm? All right, here's what he's got. A little shad imitation from Storm. And I got the ghost skill by the Googan Squad. So uh, I think I'm going to walk down here to the left. It's probably going to walk down to the right. We're going to see if we can make something happen today. Quite a bit of a drop off. I'm just trying to get some casting room right here so uh, I'm not casting up into the trees behind me and getting a backlash. That water is freezing. I can feel it through the waders. Right here where I'm standing is a good four, probably three or four feet. And I'm a little bit off the shore. That was a bite right there, man. That was a bite right there. About three casts in. We do have potential for a real giant today. This pond has them. We've got about an hour and a half of daylight left today. So we're gonna use all of that time spending out here on this pond. Because I know sometimes it does take quite a while to land something here, but it's definitely not a quantity pond, it's a quality pond. So we're going to have to put in the time, put in the casts, make a couple hundred casts to get to that fish we're looking for. We're definitely on the right side of the pond today, not like we really have any other option because the other side is residential, but this is where the wind is blowing directly on the shoreline right here. So you would think this is where the bass are gonna be congregated today. All right, guys, I'm gonna carefully make my way along the shoreline here and uh, make sure I don't fall into any holes or anything, but 
I'm gonna just wander down along this way and see if I can make something happen a little further down the line. That's one guys. Oh, that's a nice one. Oh man, that's a real nice one. That's a real nice one. Oh dude, let's go man. That might be three plus pounds or bigger. Oh dude, it's a giant. What the heck? Oh my gosh. 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 Woo! Look at that. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Woo! That is a tank, man. That's a five pounder. It is at least four, guys. Oh my gosh. I'm going to get back over here and uh, get my scale. Oh my gosh. Look how he choked that bait. Oh my goodness. He hammered. Whoa. Oh my gosh. Are you serious right now? Smack the ghost gill. Oh my <laughs> Look at this guys. I told you this place had giants. I told you. I told you. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna need the pliers to get this one out. He absolutely here, choked I got pliers it. in my pocket. Here. I got some. I got some. Oh my goodness, guys. You want me to get your scale out? I could feel it coming today. And I literally, Ugh. that was like on the same cast where I had just, I just had one. Wow. Guys, look at the, look at the bait right here. Guggen ghost gill coming through. Look at that fish. Let's get some good lighting. Look at that, man. That's a monster. Let's see if he's 20 inches for a citation first and foremost here. Kind of lay it on the ground. It's gonna be close. Is he gonna make it? He is. I think he's he is. He's 20 on the dot. <laughs> he's 20, 20 on the dot, guys. Look at that. You see it. Okay, guys. One last look at this beast, dude. What a start to the day. If that's the only fish we catch today, I'm happy, man. Let's get back out here. Get this big mama all ready to go. Whew, what a mondo. I'm shaking right now, man. That's that adrenaline going through my veins, dude. That is a heck of a fight, heck of a fish on the lipless. Right at my, like, right at my feet, too. It's crazy. I think she's ready to go. <laughs> Let's go. Nice Let's go. Way. Make sure you guys are all cleaned off from that splash right there. Looking good, looking good. Here's the bait we got it on. Let's get that good lighting. Where is it at? All right, right there. Guggen Squad Ghost Gill, lipless crankbait. Oh man, it's been killing it for me lately. This is the bait of choice for late November fishing in Delaware. This is the thing to use. But man, that feels really good. That feels so dang good. And there's bigger ones than that in here too. That's a giant, man. Oh my gosh. Great, great, great start to the day. That was 10, 15 minutes in. Hopefully we can pick up a couple more, but again, like I said, if that's the only fish we catch today, I will be happy. That's a citation bass here in Delaware. 20 inches long, citation fish. But let's stop talking about that fish and let's keep our eyes focused on catching another one. I'm happy with that one, but I want some more, man. I want that tug on the end of the line again. Could there be another lunker out here? Oh, that's another fish. As I'm saying that, I don't think it's as big. But as I was talking about that, we got another one on. Doesn't seem terrible. Oh. He hit it like a ton of bricks. 
about a pounder. All right, not bad. Yeah, about a pounder, pound and a quarter. Don't know what to do with my rod while I have this thing on because I'm out here in four feet of water. Can't exactly lay it down. Oh, there we go. There he is, man, second fish of the day. Nice. All the fish in here hit extremely hard. And uh, I'd be lying if I said this guy wasn't a little bit of a disappointment after catching the last one. But man, that's uh, 20 minutes and two fish. So we'll keep going at it, man. Nice. Bye-bye. But as I was saying right when that fish hit, could there be another giant out here ready to hit? My thought is yes, they seem to be active today. I've seen a couple fish splashing around and I know it was bass because there's no carp in this pond. So they do seem to be very active. And Maddie had one on down at the other end. But uh, he would be filming too, but his camera's been having a lot of issues lately. So we're working to get those fixed so we can capture everything here. Cause if he gets a five pounder and he's not on camera today, I'm not gonna be too happy, but it's just part of the the YouTube world, sometimes our equipment doesn't always work too well. But hopefully he's back in action very soon. 12 seconds later. Nice, Maddie's got a good one on down there. Two to one is the score. About a two pounder, I'd say. All right, he's even up, well, he's not even up with me. He's closing the gap, two to one. Let's see if we can't continue to work along the shoreline here. I don't know how far I'm going to be able to make it uh, with seeing how deep this water is, seeing how close we are right now, but uh, got like a foot before it reaches the top of my waders. And generally you don't want to get anywhere closer than a half a foot towards when you start filling up, but it gets pretty darn deep right here. Oh, do you see that? That was a big one. I had a hit, a big hit, man. I was kind of stumbling backwards and my hand slipped off my, my reel and I really didn't get a good hook in him, but that was a giant hit out there, guys. Man, my body is starting to hurt, guys. I'm freezing out here. My joints are aching every time I make a cast. It's getting tough. I think if I'm able to land that one more fish, I think we're gonna get out of here. Oh, Maddie's got one on right here, guys. Good one. Oh, it's a giant stick, holy crap. The wind has definitely died down a little bit here. Hopefully you guys can hear me talking a little better now. It's been a very, very windy for the entire afternoon here, but as the sun continues to set, we've got a lot less wind to deal with right now. Let's go ahead and make one more last ditch effort here. See if we can catch one more fish and work our way down the right shoreline this time before we had gone down that way where we caught the big one. But now I'm going to see if I can uh, stay upright here as I walk along the shore and see if I can make a few casts down in this corner. Swirl right there, guys. Cast right into it. Uh, my lure got fouled up. I hate when that happens. <sighs> Throw right back into there. I feel a giant coming on to you. Holy, oh my god. For real? Yes. Nice. Big one. <laughs> Real big I just said I feel a giant coming Real on. Big Let's look at this. It's a, it's a real big one. Oh man. That's nice. That's real nice. All right. <laughs> Three pounder. Not as big as I thought, but he was fighting up a fight out there. Super fat. Look at that thing. Whew. We're getting it on today. 
Please try to pop that hook out of it, please. Nice. Two to two is the score now. Yeah. We need one more for somebody to win this little competition. Although I think if we don't catch any more right now, I'd probably win with that giant. But yeah. let's get that release. There's a bluegill tail down in his throat. Is there really? Yeah. Yeah. Look at that, guys. I don't know if you probably can't see it, but there's a bluegill tail sticking out of that thing's throat. Sayonara. That's a hit right there, man. I just had some tap at it. Felt like a dink. Either that or I bumped into Thunder Dan's rod on the bottom out there. Probably got five minutes tops, guys, to see if we can pull one out. But if not, it's been a solid, solid day. Getting colder by the minute. Sun is now completely behind the horizon, but that's all right. We're having a good time, that's all that matters. Five more casts. Is that the last minute fish right there, the tiebreaker? Oh my goodness, a giant. Do you see that? It's a giant. It's a giant, guys. Oh, he's barely hooked, man. He's barely, barely hooked. Gotta keep pressure on. Look at this. Look at this, guys. Gotta keep pressure on. Come here. Oh my goodness, what a disaster. I got him. <laughs> I just told Maddie five more casts. That was my third cast right at the end there, and I just got another tank. Oh my goodness. He is barely, he's got one hook in him, guys. He's got one hook in him, and that's an absolute giant. You want to come over here and shine your flashlight? I think it's pretty dark. Wow. Did you see the Does jump? Only have one? No, it has two eyes. No, it, no, this wasn't in him. It was like this. Can you come over and shine a light? Guys, I don't know how well you can see that because the lighting out here is getting pretty bad. It's getting dark on me, but wow. That's how you end the night right there. I was really hoping for one more fish and we got him. Another quality, quality fish. Oh. That might be another citation, guys. Look at the bucket mouth on this thing, man. Look at that. I can stick my whole hand in there, probably. Oh. That was nerve-wracking getting this one in. He, I, I could tell from when he jumped, he was barely, barely hooked. Maybe he was a little better hooked than you thought. Yeah, not really. <laughs> hoo, hoo, hoo. Look at that. Second giant of the day. Oh my goodness, let's measure him. There, put that down on the ground. He's 20 inches, guys. Another citation bass. Wow. What a day. What an absolute banger. All right, man, I'm not even going to weigh this one. We got him right there at 20 inches. Probably about a four pounder. But uh, let's send him on his way, and then we'll get one out of here. Oh. Okay, he's ready to go. Get on out there, man. Get on out there. See ya.